So about now you're thinking about getting ready for the first midterm and trying to establish some study patterns that are really going to work to show me on your exam how much you really have learned because that's the key. I think any exam you take there are always going to be things that you studied that don't appear on the exam. There will be things on the exam that you forgot to study that do show up on the exam. But the real key is to be able to demonstrate your knowledge to the best that you can because that's really what exams are about. It's an assessment tool for your instructor to be able to assign you a grade, hopefully based on what you actually have learned in the course. So before we get started with some tips from me, what I'd like you to do is to, in just a moment, pause the video and write for yourself a list of ways that you can find out what it is you know, what it is you don't know, so that you can effectively use your study time to prepare for the exam. So go ahead and pause and take this seriously. Pause and think and write down on a piece of paper a list of things that you maybe could do to find out especially what you don't know so that you can study that and be ready for the test. Okay, hopefully you paused, hopefully you made a list, hopefully you have at least three things on your list. If you don't pause and write a few more things down, make sure you have at least three ideas of ways that you can find out about your knowledge. And what I want you to do after you watch this video is to email me if you have ways to find out what you don't know that are not on the list that I'm going to show you now. So let's look at my list. So when I was brainstorming this, I thought about ways that I would approach finding out what I don't know and I'm going to put us into focus view in Microsoft Word so that we're not looking at all this other stuff. So how to find out what I know and what I don't know so that I can study effectively for the exam? Here's a quick list that I made. First, I would make sure that as I work on my list that I would have a notepad handy so that I can keep a list of topics that I need to study more. And in fact, I might be doing that all semester long. Whenever I didn't thoroughly understand something from class, I should at least make a note that I'm going to need to study that pretty rigorously to be ready for the midterm. So keep a list of topics as you work so you can go back and study just those. So first maybe try answering all of the preview and review questions, not just in a single word, but complete sentences, full paragraphs. And while doing that, draw pictures that explain each process that we studied in class. And as I would do that, I would tell myself the story. For cellular respiration, I would draw a mitochondrion, and I would explain each step of the process that results in the molecule ATP becoming available to the cell for doing work. So I tell myself the story as I draw the process. I would draw and label as many pictures as possible. And in fact, I might glance through topics in the book to remind myself of different kinds of pictures that I might try drawing. If I can draw that picture and label it and tell myself the story of what its function is, then I really know it. Just recognizing a picture in the book isn't the same as being able to come up with it out of your mind and draw it on a blank sheet of paper. I would try working probably with those end of chapter quizzes. In fact, students have told me as the instructor previously that they worked on those and some of those questions showed up on the exam. I don't use a test bank, but if the authors of the textbook thought it was important, chances are that I'm going to think it's important as well. And you might see really similar questions on your exam. So study those end of chapter quizzes and they'll give you a clue as to what topic areas you might need to brush up on, not for specific questions, which you may or may not need to work on more, but to give you general ideas of which topics you need to look at in more detail. And then I really do recommend some sort of group work. It could just be buddy work. So after working alone and feeling like I've tested myself pretty well and I have my list of topics I need to study, then work with a friend or a study group and ask them to quiz me. We could take turns, five minutes for each of us quizzing the other and then switch around the roles and maybe just flipping open the textbook at random pages, seeing a topic and saying, okay, explain to me how the light reactions in photosynthesis work. Okay, explain to me how mitosis and my meiosis differ from one another, those two different versions of cell division, and what is the function of each. So by working with a small group or working with a friend, then you can use their expertise to help hone your own knowledge. Anyways, I hope that's been of some use to you.
and I hope you'll thumb it into some additional study techniques that help you to discover what you don't know. And if you come up with some great ideas, please send them to me so I can add them to my list to help students in the future and maybe even help your classmates on the second and third and fourth midterms. See you later.